In this tutorial, we are going to explain the process to import inventory into Smart360 POS utilizing an Excel spreadsheet. The most difficult and time-consuming step in importing inventory into Smart360 POS is for you to decide on how you want to set up inventory for your business. The actual importing of inventory takes only a matter of minutes. Let's get started. There is a total of 10 columns to the Excel spreadsheet. The first column is the item number, UPC barcode, or PLU item number you want to assign to the item. The second column describes the name of the product which you want to call your inventory item. Column 3 is the cost of the inventory item. Column 4 is the price which you plan to sell the item. Column 5 is the quantity in stock of the inventory item. Column 6 is whether the tax rate number 1 applies to the unit. Column 7 is whether the tax rate number 2 applies to the unit. Column 8 is whether the tax rate number 3 applies to the unit. Column 9 is which department you want to assign the unit to. Finally, column 10 is used if you want to set a low inventory alert. In this example, I have assigned a small coffee the item number 1. I have chosen to call the item Coffee S. My cost is $1.14 and I will be selling the cup of coffee for $1.90. I do not keep track of how many coffee cups I sell. As such, I have chosen a number of 100 as a default value for the item stock. In this example, there is no tax on the unit. As such, I have chosen False, False, and False for the three tax settings. I want to put the coffee and other drinks that I sell in a department called Drink. Finally, I have chosen not to be alerted should the inventory run low, so I put zero in the reorder level. You would repeat this process for each of the items which you want to create. The next step is saving the file in the correct importing format. In our case, we need to save the file as a CSV file. To do this, save the file type as a CSV file when prompted. Depending on which version of Microsoft Excel you are working with, you may be asked about multiple sheets. Press the OK button. You may also be asked if you want to keep the file in CSV format. Press Yes. Your file is now ready to be uploaded to Smart360 POS. You are now ready to import the Excel inventory file which you have created. You have two options to do this. You can either use the 10-inch tablet, or in this example, use your laptop computer, as this is where you have likely created and saved the Excel CSV file. Proceed to your browser and enter http colon forward slash forward slash backoffice.smart360pos.com. You can also access this from smart360pos.com and click the Login Back Office button. Enter the email and password provided to you. You may also want to select the Remember Username button. You are now in the main screen of Back Office for Smart360 POS. Select the Import tab. Select Choose File button. Select the CSV file, which you have just saved, followed by the View Inventory button. Pressing View does not save your file. It instead allows you to review all the items you have added so you can make any changes. Press the Save and Upload button to save the inventory items. Congratulations! You have successfully imported the inventory for your business. Together with setting up departments, costing, pricing, inventory levels, and even a low inventory warning. When you re-enter when you re-enter Smart360 POS, you will see that the inventory you created in Excel has now been imported into the system. Thank you for watching.